feels great. It feels absolutely wonderful. I'm so grateful to be given an opportunity to be here and to present my film here. Actually, my film is, uh, what my film is about is about a class of musicians, women musicians, um, who came from the courtesan tradition, who were courtesans, uh, or as in Urdu or Hindi we call it tawaifs. And um, they were a section of women who till early 20th century were highly educated and um, were also very fine musicians and dancers and very accomplished and had a fairly uh, f um, autonomous lifestyle. It was, I was researching on them and I wanted to make a film on them. While I was doing the research, I, I got to know about many songs associated with them and the kind of music uh, that was associated with them, which of course still is a very much a part of Indian classical music. And then of course someone, a friend of mine did find it for me. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it was interesting uh, as to the words of this song and the words of the other song. This song, which has got erased, is far more uh, erotic. Uh, and so it was interesting for me to, through this search for the song, to understand also the lifestyle of the women who used to sing songs like this, and to understand the reasons of why this song got lost and also why the women uh, singers associated with songs like this, how they have completely been uh, marginalized and stigmatized from Indian society. I think being a woman, mm -hmm. issues related to gender have uh, been close to my heart. Uh, I think uh, from the personal to the more political, I mean one experiences certain kinds of uh, uh, ways uh, in which as a woman you perceive power and sexuality and gender are very closely linked with each other because mm -hmm. a very major way of controlling women is to control them through their sexuality so if one is looking at gender then say, looking at sexuality becomes in inevitable almost if you're an Indian at the you know now and especially in the past 30 years you can't escape that India has been so uh, has been um, passed through such tumultuous times because of the rise of communal politics and because of the rise of divisive politics mm -hmm. that really, I mean, I couldn't escape that. That was the reality of my life as an Indian. I suppose uh, the main aim for me as a filmmaker would be manifold. Uh, one is, of course, to help generate some amount of uh, gen uh, awareness about uh, the issue that I'm dealing with mm -hmm. in any given film.